Bold Bakers. As part of Bold Baking Basics, not only do I want to show you how to do things homemade, but I also want to show you easy cake decorating tips. So one thing I want to show you is how to make chocolate butterflies. They are so simple. You just need a few things to be able to make them. So melted chocolate, you can use white or milk. I'm using white because it's going to go with a specific kind of cake and my gorgeous stencil. This is printable on my website and we are going to draw around these with chocolate to create these beautiful butterflies. Lay your stencil onto a baking tray or a flat surface and then lay over some parchment paper. We're using parchment paper so you can see through it. So I'll tape the parchment paper in place if you need to. So in my piping bag, I've got white chocolate with a tiny bit of flavorless oil, vegetable, canola, coconut oil, whatever you like. It's just to thin it out so it makes it much easier to pipe with. And then I cut a very small hole in the bottom and we want it to be nice and small because we want a fine line to pipe with. Then just go for it, trace around, put a little bit of pressure on the piping bag. You don't want your chocolate too thin. And also don't go too slow, speed it up a little bit. It's best not to do too many at a time so they don't set too fast. So what I have here is some white melted chocolate colored with some food coloring. Any color you like does not matter. I really like pink, so mine's gonna be pink. And then with a spoon, we're just gonna put little drops into each wing. Then take a toothpick and push the chocolate around the wing, filling in any little holes you see. You wanna make sure that everything is closed up. Once they're all filled in, go in with your toothpick and gently run the two colors together, creating a beautiful swirl. Just do it very gently. You don't have to scrape the chocolate too much. To give my butterfly wings some real pizzazz, I have some luster pearls here, and I'm just going to dot a few on the wings. I'll put a link on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, where you can buy the pearl lusters, print off the butterfly wings, and all the instructions. That's our first butterfly wings done and they look beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more and change up the color and make them unique. You too can do any color you like and also change up the chocolate. So there you go, there's our butterfly wings. They look beautiful. They're gonna look so great on our cake. So we're gonna pop these guys into the fridge and let them set and then we're going to finish assembling them. When the chocolate is hard, you can assemble your butterflies. So take a magazine and open it up in the middle and then just push down the sides. And this is how we are going to shape our butterflies. Stay with me, it's gonna be really good. Then we're gonna take two pieces of parchment paper and put it on either sides of the page. Then very gently, we're going to take our butterfly wings, be careful because they're delicate, and then lay them down the center of the magazine. You can probably see where I'm going with this. We are pushing them together to look like wings, and then we are going to take some more melted chocolate and we are going to pipe the body of the wings. And what this does is it creates the body and then it also holds the two wings together when it dries. It kind of makes it look like the butterfly is flying. Very easy, you can see them coming together, they look beautiful, but right now we're gonna to have to pop them back into the fridge and let this chocolate set and then we're all ready. Once your butterflies have firmed again, you can see how beautiful they are and what a difference they are going to make to a cake. You want to keep the butterflies stored in the fridge so they stay nice and cold and hard. Keep them in an airtight container for up to eight weeks and they will be ready for you anytime you need them. I have lots more Bold Baking Basics videos so make sure you check them all out for great tips.